Hi, I'm Jason Hudson from Tenzig Technology, and today we're going to look at configuring a connection to Windows Virtual Desktop via Tenzig Zero Client, which is based on the recently introduced NOS M platform. M is short for Microsoft, which offers connections to Windows Virtual Desktop and Remote Desktop Services under a single securely managed platform. I'm going to show you how simple it is to take a clean, out-of-the-box device, configure its regional settings, and then create a connection to a Windows Virtual Desktop in the cloud, all within the space of a few minutes. When the client boots for the first time, you will notice there are some settings we need to change. These are the region that we are working from, and also the date and time. For me, the region will be set to Great Britain, UK and I just need to set the current time for my zone. Once completed, just click OK. Now you'll see that we can choose our connection type and the feed discovery URL. Here at Tenzig, we have support for both WVD Fall 2019 and WVD Arm Spring 2020, as well as custom URL feeds. This gives us the flexibility to suit all WVD environments. For this setup, we will use a WVD connection type and the WVD ARM feed, which is for the latest Azure Resource Manager environment. If I move down, I can key in my credentials to gain access to my Windows Virtual Desktop resource area. I type in my username and my domain and then click OK. If you tick the Use Credentials box, then your user and password will be saved for quick login each time. This would be useful if you were the only person using this device in a secure location, or for someone working from home, for example. One important thing to mention here is that you don't have to type in your credentials and you'll be prompted each time you wish to log in. Once you've clicked OK, you'll be taken back to the main login console, where you can type in your password and click Login. I have MFA or multi-factor authentication set up for this particular user, so I get some secure access code sent to a device of my choice, which in this case is my phone. So I'll just key that in now. Now that I have subscribed, I get access to all the resources assigned to my user account. I can double click onto my support desktop icon. And I'm logged into my Windows Virtual Desktop in the Azure Cloud. If you remember at the start of the demonstration, I said it would take a few minutes to set up. I actually timed this exercise and it took just over three minutes to complete. But if you take out my extra long explanations of what was going on, then I guess it would be even quicker. Which just goes to show how simple, quick and easy the whole process really is. This concludes today's demonstration on how to configure a Windows Virtual Desktop connection on a Tenzig NOS M Linux Zero client. I hope you enjoyed the session and remember, if you have any questions regarding this or related topics, then please contact your Tenzig team or visit the website at www.tenzig.com.